Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be previewing the men's Olympic hockey event. Today's topic will be Team China. Uh, so taking a look at Team China, obviously not necessarily the favorite to win the tournament, uh, and in my opinion, the worst team here. Uh, but overall, uh, I do expect uh, nothing but blowouts against them, so that's something definitely to look forward to, uh, playing the overall plus 14 goal deficit. Uh, and be sure to let, leave your comment down below whether or not you think it is going to be plus 30 uh, or minus 30 for China if they can if they're going to exceed the 30 minus goal mark. Uh, I think they will. I think this tournament is definitely going to be one that's going to show uh, why China has not been a prominent force in hockey for years. Uh, but uh, it is going to be very curious. So if, and we'll jump right into this, uh, sort of showing how Team China has acquired all of these players. Because uh, obviously they can't really compose a team of Chinese hockey players uh, and actually stand somewhat of a shot in this tournament. Uh, so what they've done is they've uh, partnered with Kunlin uh, Red Star, which is the hockey team of the KHL in China. Uh, so basically anybody who's playing there right now uh, is easy, it basically has citizen, citizenship uh, for the Chinese team so they can play for Team China. Uh, so that's sort of what they're doing. So there are quite a few Canadians, quite a few Americans, quite a few Russians on this team. Uh, and that's sort of who composes Team China as of right now. Uh, so it's going to be very cur it's curious to see how China fares if they do actually put up a fight. I think if this China team uh, is going to go anywhere, uh, you have to be dreaming because the truth is China is only here uh, to try and promote the game of hockey as they should. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, they're going to get absolutely tossed. They're in probably the toughest group uh, aside from China being the sort of the lone wolf of it. But uh, out of any team in here, I think China is the worst possible uh, sort of team to play. And they're also going to be the worst group to play. So uh, overall, uh, it is going to be curious to see what happens here because obviously uh, expectations are low. Uh, and then taking a look back at from years past, they did not participate. So uh, overall, they don't have anything to really show for it. Uh, and it is going to be curious to see how all these players sort of mix. Because obviously they have all played together. They are already a team in the KHL. Uh, the team doesn't do great. Uh, that being said, uh, they are playing against top end teams from Russia. So uh, overall, uh, they're sort of like uh, the Arizona Coyotes, if you, if you will, uh, of the NHL. Uh, they don't, they've never really been a prominent force uh, for many years. Obviously they have been, Coyotes fans don't kill me. Um, but overall, uh, really just sort of there to, to sort of fill seats on a daily basis. Uh, but let's take a look at the team for Team China this year. Uh, so we have starting off Zudan Zhang in his first Olympics, first time Olympian Spencer Fu, first time Olympian Jiang Gu, first time Olympian Brandon Yip, first time Olympian Peter Zong, first time Olympian Luke Lockhart, first time Olympian Parker Fu, first time Olympian Corey Kane, first time Olympian Zisan Zhang, first time Olympian Ethan Warrick, first time Olympian Young Chang Yan, first time Olympian Tyler Wong, First time Olympian Rudy Ying. First time Olympian Jason Fromm. First time Olympian Ryan Sprawl. First time Olympian Zimeng Chen. First time Olympian Jake Chelios. First time Olympian Peng Fai Zhang. First time Olympian Dennis Osibov. First time Olympian Tai Schultz. First time Olympian Ruan Yan. First time Olympian Zach Yuan. First time Olympian Paris O'Brien. First time Olympian Peng Fai Han and first time Olympian, Jeremy Smith. So this will be the team that is going to be representing Team China at this year's Olympics. Uh, and once again, sort of nothing special about this team. Uh, they're going to be a team that's going to get manhandled, uh, absolutely annihilated, pummeled, you name the word, the synonym, that's what it's going to be. So uh, if we're actually looking at expectations for China, don't get blown out by 14 goals a game. That, that's sort of the, uh, the bottom line. And, and I know it's sort of a, a joke, but uh, it's sad because it's going to be true. Uh, this team is going to be a punching bag, and especially in the Group A, uh, they're going to get annihilated. They got the U.S. They got to worry about Canada and Germany. Uh, those, in my opinion, are three of the top end teams, uh, especially uh, just given what they have. And they are sort of lucky with the NHL players not being there. Because uh, if the NHL players were there, uh, this score would be ran up a lot more. Uh, and they wouldn't really even be in the tournament. In my opinion, they, if the NHL players would have gone, they would have been regula uh, regulated or 
uh, basically kicked out of the tournament and replaced by one of the other qualifying teams coming in. Uh, but at the end of the day, China's here, they're coming to play, uh, and I hope that they have the stomach uh, to get absolutely beaten every night. Uh, but it is going to be interesting to see uh, because one of these teams is going to get a rude awakening, hopefully, uh, and just not Canada. Uh, but overall, I expect, uh, once again, annihilations. Uh, China doesn't really stand much of a shot here. If they do, good on them. If they fight, good on them. Uh, but at the end of the day, they don't match up skill-wise, talent-wise, or even effort-wise uh, compared to some of these teams that basically need it in order to live in their country. Because uh, all these countries, US, Canada, and Germany, all eat, sleep, breathe hockey. Uh, where China, they're a growing population, but at the end of the day, uh, hockey is not their main game, and they will uh, sort of be there, at least for now. Obviously, there is still room to grow. Uh, this Olympics has been a big step for them, obviously, with the women's game uh, and the women's team doing quite well in this tournament. Uh, not quite well enough to make the quarterfinals, but at the end of the day, uh, they made it far enough to really say that they are here to stay, uh, at least in the women's game, and we'll see what they can do in the men's game. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like to consider subscribing, tell all your friends and leave a comment down below your thoughts on Team China. Until next time, see you.